Hello everyone, this is Moscow J. Styles, and this is of course the revival of Dracula. I'm very excited about this movie. This is the first time I've ever really properly produced a movie the way it should be done. Of course, some do not like this movie. And there's a warp stabilizer effect which went wrong, which I think works for this. Now this opening sequence, I was going to use the uh, theme from the opening night of Living Dead, but due to copyright issues, I had to replace it with the Wolfman, and so editing on this scene is a bit rough. Jump there, and see him, like, leap forward a frame. Originally, that whole walk was a lot longer. But yeah, this whole movie, I'm very proud of it. Um, The first real horror movie I've made, actually. Like, most of my other horror movies have tr turned to comedy because it appears to be the only thing I can really do. But this is the first real film where I've actually put thought into storyboards and um, a, a real script, to be, to be honest. Like, every shot has been, almost every shot has been chosen for a reason. There is a cut away from the original rough cut opening where Frank was to be playing Dracula, but we changed that to me because, well, I was the only one that fit the clothes. I love this title card. I think it's perfectly 50s homage. Of course, most of this is filmed in um, Norton Radstock because, like, I just wanted to get away there and just uh, see some new locations. And Marianne and Paul here, G, my girlfriend, and Jordan have uh, provided me with a good, like, wood place. Which, of course, is always creepy. It's a very common trope, but I figured I've never done this before. I think I might as well get at least one horror movie in the woods out. I love the, that, that shot right here because it's so clear he's reading from my script and I think it works with the uh, rest of the tone of the uh, silly 50s movie, the B movie, and I like these scratches. Although I've heard things from both sides on whether the scratches and stuff were good. I think they're wonderful. I think they fit in with the film so perfectly. I love watching this with the um, retrospective of thinking about like when things were shot and being like oh wow that was a completely different day like there that's my hand not Jamie's who's playing the occultist that's my hand in my backyard garden that's fake blood I love shooting scenes like this, I don't know why, but I always like the um, quiet scenes where I can tell them how to emote from behind the camera and then take it out later. I think it's a very good way for folks like G to act anyway. One thing I learned on this um, editing this movie was that um, I really need to make sure how the audio levels end up um, in the final there? cut because, like, unfortunately on the YouTube version they're all a bit just out of level. Like things are too loud and things are too quiet. I love how the occultist is wearing the camera kit. <laughs> yeah, a Chinese box is being com is being used instead of a pot for like the resurrecting of Dracula. I think she's a really good actor once you um, get her in, like. A, a scene just by herself, where she's just being told how to act. There he is, that guy. 
I think he's quite a star. Look at him. So fabulous. You hear her, my dark acolyte? Fresh nourishment to quench her first. Now go claim our trophy, your first. I suppose it's the curse of an every author, but every time I watch this I just think of um, ways I could edit it tighter and make it even better than it is, but I don't know. I'm hope people like this, but I don't think many of my friends didn't really get what I was going for because I told them I was making crap and that's exactly what I made. I gotta credit Frank here for his excellent um, cinematography of this scene. Um, some of the shot choices I'm very impressed by and I they're not what I wrote down. And that's not actually one of my shots, that was just Frank messing around. That one right there with the trees. I love the music, I think it uh, fits so well and I'm so glad it's public domain. I was going to have some fangs, but like they, my canines are so small that the fangs won't stick to my teeth. And there's a cardboard uh, Dracula ring, so I could get the full Belagosi look. And I found out that in the 1930s Dracula, they never show his fangs, so I guess this adds a more authenticity. I love this blood-curdling sound effect. It was my Halloween costume as well, that Dracula costume. I love the way her eyes just bulge out. Just such beautiful eyes. I don't know. I love everything about this ending scene. I think it's put together so well, like compositionally. There are some faults, but for the most part, I think with the music and everything, I think, and the tone of the colors, I think it's wonderful. Jordan is a good actor, sure but, like, ones. as I said, I came to make a crap movie, and I made a crap movie, and I told him to hammer up. So, there you go. So, to anybody who thinks that the actors in this movie are right, they're okay, but that's the reason why Jordan's like this anyway. That jump cut there, ooh, that was an accident, but I think it works for the movie. So yeah, that was the revival of Dracula. Something I've I'm very proud of. I worked on it for I don't know. Let's see, about two months, a break month, and two more months. No, three months and a half then in total. I see. Thanks to the college resources for um, allowing me to edit this movie on the Mac computers, and I hope to be seeing you on another audio commentary in the future. So to everyone, peace out and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.